Yeah. Just making sure I still know how to use this thing. It's uh, it's only video number two since we kind of slowed things down, but I think we're getting back in the hang of it. If you are new here, I'm Diggin' Z71, or if you've forgotten, it's like, it's been a minute. You know, we uploaded the other day a day two wiring video. This is gonna be day three. But if it's been a minute since you've been around, or if you're new here, I'm Diggin' Z71. My name is Dylan. I have a Turbo LS four wheel drive truck that I like to race, and then I am currently in the middle of rewiring. And when I say I'm rewiring it, I have a Holley Terminator X on this truck and the wiring was always done in such a way that it was it was fine. It was okay, it was no problems with it. It did, it did its job, but it wasn't that great. And one of the focuses I have on this truck this year is on making it as equally nice as I try to go faster with it too. And so this is part three of the wiring that I'm doing to this thing. This is not really a how-to. This is a how I'm doing it. And if you like it, you could do the same thing if you don't like it you know you tell me about it uh i may or may not listen who knows we'll see i read all the comments but big difference between reading the comments and listening and if you tuned into the last video the part two video you saw that we were working on a wiring panel that we're going to put back here behind the seat we want it to be clean we want it to be effective we want it to be useful but we want it to be kind of out of sight out of mind and that's what we're doing here these things are going to accomplish that goal and where we left off was where we were going to map all this stuff and as you can tell i think i found a better way of doing it so previously i had this kind of stuck here and i was throwing these guys all around trying to figure out where in the heck i was going to put these that would be um clean effective useful out of sight out of mind all the goals but it just dawned on me that this type of configuration here something along these lines maybe even better right something uh like this and then the idea being that i can drill a hole either like just here in the center on this side wherever and all of these wires can come from the same place like here and here or whatever but it's uh i think as long as the fuse panel on this side as long as it's gonna fit up here high enough i think that's gonna be the move let's find out I figured before I butcher this template that we made that we know fits good anymore, I should probably go ahead and at least copy, trace it out, and get ready for a second. Because you never know. I might butcher this thing beyond use, and then we got to start all over. But we got this one test fitting the way we want, so I'm going to go ahead and at least trace it out and make sure that I have a second ready to go. Also, we got to be careful. Allie's right over there. I've still got our kitchen scissors. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Right up with the other one. So looking at it, I think it needs to go this direction. And I say that because it gives us the most room around the bolt holes, around the bolt holes meaning where it's gonna bolt to our roll bar mounts. Most room around that, and then that should give us plenty of room for our four terminal strips down here. One, two, three, four. They gotta be just fine. And uh, this way, all of these fuses are easy to reach whenever uh, it's time to come race and we'll figure we'll be probably diagnosing, diagnosing, we'll be diagnosing fuse issues long before we anticipate diagnosing relay issues and i think so it's better to be have it mounted this way instead of like this way then i'm trying to reach around the relays so let's see if we can get a template chopped up see if that'll fit to give us something like this okay and so now we've got this guy traced out i used a black sharpie you may not be able to see it but i promise there is a line there so obviously the next step is to get this thing cut out because although we're pretty sure we're going to put the wiring harness up top like we just talked about we are very sure that this is the shape of the panel that we want and girls that came out pretty good 
Nice! Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Even beveled the edge. Alright, let's try out this fitment and see what it looks like. Right along those edges there. Oh, baby, that's going to be it. Nice and even down the door over here. Straight across the bottom. Both of these line up on these roll bar mounts. I think we're in business. Now, using my best approximation, I've determined where I think the bolt holes need to go. So, uh, we're going to find out. Let's go see. Now, what we're hoping for here is that this O-hole and this O-hole line up with this O-hole and that O-hole. So, if we take number one, we'll stick a... Uh, a lightweight race fastener through here just for now not for ow that hurt uh just for now not for permanent you know you should never use lightweight race fasteners for permanent part asphyxiation you know you just definitely should not never do that all right let's see if we got this other you, you guys come take a look with me you all see the other hole hey look at that we're in the green light I know y'all probably didn't see any of that, but you got to trust me. You can see through the other side. So we hit it right on the mark. W. Let's hope that fits. All right, so let's see how this test fits here thinking I want to come through the back on it because I can get the cuts pretty clean no, that's not bad I think I got to do a little bit of trimming I wish that I could have gotten the edges perfectly round but with that Dremel that I have it just wasn't going to happen but I think a little bit of grinding on the top and bottom and we might be rocking and rolling boys this is this is coming out freaking nice all right so now that we got this thing fitting in here pretty good looks nice and neat huh look at that comes right on and off we're going to use it as a template to kind of keep it centered because it's sunk into the abs and that's going to let us drill these holes boom let's go baby so if you guys aren't using nut certs nut rivets riv nuts whatever you want to call them if you're not using them for basically everything yet you're really messing up and you really should so like in this case if i want to bolt this thing to the panel you know obviously you run nut bolt washer everything through there well it's kind of a pain to reach around behind this roll bar back here and get a hold of it but instead if you can just basically make this piece threaded yeah you if you can make this threaded it's just one step easy nut certs best tool item tool uh consumable i don't know whatever you call them Really good item to have, really good tool to have. I got this neat one that uh, you put on your ratchet here, wherever my ratchet went, and you just zip it down, zip, 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 and it does the job for you. Highly suggested. If you look in there, you can see it exploding. So, pretty neat. Now I've got a threaded hole. Three more to go. Boom. Now we've got four threaded holes. And so, boom, look at there. That is gonna be a nice piece. Now that the panel is made correctly oriented and where I think it's gonna live its life, as well as how I wanna run these terminal strips, there's really not much else to do but to start running wires. And uh, for that, 
I think I'm going to turn on some music, start jamming out, and you guys are just going to have to get to enjoy it through time lapse because copyright, you know. Anyway, it's time to pay the bills. Let's get to work. Okay, and so this is probably as good a stopping point as any for today, but I'm very happy that we were able to, A, get this panel started, get it arranged, get it get it going, and then get most of these wires ran because they were all stuck out under the engine base, you remember from like the part one video, in which, by the way, all of these videos are going to be on a playlist for Holly wiring. I know that we haven't done anything Holly specific yet, but it is really coming. This this next piece, once we get the panel in, once we start running the terminal strips, and once we start playing with uh, a few of those wires down there and a few up there, it is going to get really highly specific really quickly. And this is, uh, like I said, it's not so much of a how-to as it is this is how I'm doing it. And speaking of how I'm doing it, if you're wondering why the computer's here, it's because the LEDs on the front, they're still useful. And so I'm thinking that I either A, want to mount it under this center console seat here so that way i can still reference the leds on the front if needed or maybe i'll figure out some kind of bracket to mount it vertically behind the center console seat i don't know yet that's going to have to come into play once we get the seats and everything back in here but that's about as far as the harnesses are going to reach i kind of was thinking originally that it might would reach all the way back here and i could get a roll bar mount for it in this area um, or hang it from here but I just don't think it's going to work. I think I've already got the harnesses stretched under the carpet here pretty far. But uh, super happy all this is laying down super nice. It's not all bulged up. All the wires are tucked in nice and neat along here. This is uh, this is way better than just a, a looped up coil of mess under here. So can't wait to get all this crap out and be in some serious business. As always, I'm Diggin Z71. Thanks for watching. Keep digging. We will see you next time.